Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 27th of September 2021. Taking a look at Binance Coin here. It is on the monthly chart. We are below the Tankinsen and the Kijinsen, which is the threshold here really uh, for both of those is 30, um, yeah, 35, 355.5. That is the Kijinsen. So if we close below that on the monthly, that, that could be fairly bearish moving forward. Taking a look at it on the uh, and I mean, it made a new four month high, but uh, otherwise, I mean, really, it's kind of halted roughly mid range between the body of the uh, uh, just a little bit below where the open is of the month was just a little bit below the 50% range of that massive candle in in May. So, I mean, we're still trading inside of May's price action. We're still trading within that range. So that'd be like four months of that. And, you know, which direction is it going to go? It still looks like a corrective move lower is likely. Fast forward now, not fast forward, but really going to the weekly. What do we have going on? Um, we closed out last week with a close below the week, Tankinsen and the Kijinsen, really similar to what the monthly looks like. Um, the key level here for Binance Coin is pretty much right, well, not really right where it's at, but it could be. Uh, so the lagging span is really what's going to dictate direction here. Okay. So if, if we're going to remain bullish, price needs to stay. I mean, we have, we have to have a weekly close above 349.1. So let's just say it needs to close at 350. If it fails to do that in a week, it'll just slide over and be under threat from moving lower. But if we see it on the weekly chart, if we get a close, below the uh if we get a close below the weekly close okay i gotta re i gotta remember to rephrase this because i reached out to some of the ichimoku experts that whose books i have and can have corresponded to before um they believe that the close of the candle is where the lagging span needs to close above or below in order for the threshold to be met so it's not just the body it's actually the close so it's actually a little bit tighter so we'll say this, if it closes below 349.1, then we're, we're looking at very bearish price action because the only thing Ichimoku wise on the weekly chart that is supporting where price is at now is the lagging span being slightly above the close here on, um, actually, is it though? No, it's not. It's below the close now. Yeah. Barely. So if the legging span on the weekly chart closes below the close of this candle over here, then we're likely to see some pretty big drops. You know, we're still below 50 in the RSI. So and we've been below the uh we're going on our second week in, you know in between 50 and 40. The composite index fairly neutral. I mean, this has all the markings of a bear flag setup. And <sighs> Yes, it, it it could have a pretty steep drop. Let's look at the daily. Yeah, daily chart's overwhelmingly bearish too. I mean, everything on here says lower prices. Um, in fact, we we'll probably have to shift the RSI levels for Binance Coin <coughs> into bear market conditions. And because it's spent so much time now below fifty and forty, that's that's what you would look at. So everything here looks very bearish, and I mean, it, it if it cracks below 250, it's got a pretty fast trip down. I mean, where's 2001 right there? Yeah, if it cracks below 259, there's a really fast trip down to 140 volume profile wise, but. Uh, I'd, I'd watch any close below 260 because that could generate some pretty fast price action lower. But for right now, it still looks like it's going to go lower. There's no supportive price action until um, supportive levels until the lagging span tags uh, 319 or 300 even. So, yeah, Binance Coin looks pretty rough here. Thank you for watching. From all the shit exchange rates UK TV, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.